Oh, it's yours. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Hi, mommies. Um, so I found that if I work with a prop, um, Penny stays really entertained throughout the workout. She's kind of fascinated with what I'm doing with the prop. So I'm going to give you a um, Pilates workout today using the small ball. Uh, you can get these anywhere. You want one about this size. It's uh, squishy and the purpose is to either add resistance or instability to make your workout a little harder in some exercises and in other exercises it can make you feel more supported. Okay, so coming down onto your mat. So coming down onto your mat, we're going to lay down on the back and just place the ball between the knees, hands down by your sides. And just take a moment here to get centered, take a big inhale and exhale, draw the core in as you exhale and now add a squeeze of the ball, inhale deeply, exhale, hug the ball between the knees. Take two more there, inhale. Releasing the ball slightly. Exhale, squeeze in. Again, inhale, release. Exhale, the abs draw in and together. Adding a pelvic tuck. Inhale, release the ball. Exhale, squeeze the ball. Tuck the tailbone towards the ceiling and lift your tush slightly off the mat. Release back down. Release the squeeze on the ball. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, squeeze the ball, tilt the pelvis, lift slightly off the mat, lower back down, release the ball, inhale, exhale, squeeze the ball, tuck the tailbone, a slight lift, engage that lower body, lower back down, one bone at a time, finding that neutral pelvic position, adding a Pilates curl, inhale, exhale, slide the hands forward on the mat, lift the head, neck and shoulders up. Hug the ball tight, hold it, lower back down. Again, inhale, exhale, curl the head, neck, and shoulders up. Look down at your navel, your chin's towards your chest, your shoulders are plugged back and open, lower back down. And one more, inhale, exhale, squeeze the ball, lift up, hold here. Float the hands away from the mat. Start to pump the arms up and down, going into our 100 exercise. Inhaling for five pumps. As we exhale, we squeeze the ball tighter. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze. You can stay here. If you want a challenge, bring the legs to tabletop and keep going. Inhale for five. Exhale, hug the ball. Inhale. Exhale. To add on, lift towards 90 degrees with the legs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, you can stay here or lower down to a higher level, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, lowering more for a challenge, only lower so far as to not arch your back, one more breath, exhale, hug the ball tight, lift towards 90 degrees, Lower the head just for a breath. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders for a challenge. You can keep the head down here as well. Little squeezes of the ball in, in, and in, in. The legs are still slightly turned out, so we're hugging with those inner thighs. If your head is lifted, add a little extra curl every time you hug the ball. So it's squeezing in, in, in for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, hold it, Woo. up a little higher, hug, bend in, lower the head, neck, and shoulders. Take the ball out, wrap up into a seated position, put the ball between your knees, hug the ball tight, reach the arms forward in front, take an inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, curve back. Go to a point where you feel challenged, but your toes are still down and you're hugging that ball. Now curve back up 
and then lift a tall at the top. I'll have to excuse my squeaky mat and my squeaky baby. <laughs> Back hold, hug the ball for support, feel those inner thighs in that lower core. Lift back up. One more time, curving back, hold. Now we'll challenge this C curve with movement. Lift, lower, lift, lower. The higher the arms, the more challenge. Go for three, two, one. Now hold the hands in line with the shoulders. Curve back one more inch, one more inch, one more inch, find your shoulder blades, and then all the way down to the mat. Reach the legs long in front of you, and now you're still hugging that ball between your knees and your inner thighs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, chin to the chest, curl the head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Reach forward, hug the belly back and in. Inhale here. Exhale, roll back down all the way with control. Again, inhale. Exhale, curving up, reach forward, inhale, exhale, roll back down. So of course she's found something else to play with, right? <laughs> it always happens that way. Inhale, exhale, hug that ball between your legs, roll up all the way, reach the crown of the head forward as you pull your belly back. Now lift a tall on this one as if you're pressing your back against a wall. Take the ball out. Bring the legs together, lift the ball over the head for a challenge, deep breath, exhale, roll down towards your mat, one bone at a time. Keep the ball right over your chest, take the right leg long to the ceiling, cross over your midline, circle, and lift up. Down, around, lift, for three, for two, one more, lift the leg, hold, Lift the head, neck, and shoulders just for a challenge. Go the opposite way. Down, cross, lift. So the ball is remaining still in the hands. The left leg reaches long. We're finding that stability in the body. One more. Hold it at the top. Place the leg on, place the ball on the leg wherever you can reach and put both fingertips of each hand onto it. Curl it up and back for six. Four, three, two, hold it up, reach the ball to the outside of the leg. So our shoulders are slightly turned to the right, curl up in that direction, squeezing that right oblique. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to the center, grab the ball, flex the right foot, lower it to the mat, lower your head, neck, and shoulders. Left leg reaches up towards the ceiling, point the toe and turn the leg out, cross, around, lift, cross, around, lift. Now only make your circle as big as to not move your ball or the rest of your body. It can be tiny. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders, and the opposite way, down, around, up. So I'll just show it a few, if you're making it a little smaller. There you go, and then more advanced can be bigger. Hold it up on your last one, place the ball on the leg, wherever you can reach, and now little curls up and up for four, three, two, hold, transfer to the outside, pulse in this direction, what'd you find? Six, five, <laughs> four, three, two, one, back to the center, flex the foot, lower the leg, lower the head, neck, and shoulders, take an inhale, exhale, press the hands into the ball, roll up off your mat all the way, stretch forward, stack up to tall, put the ball between your knees, and scoot your tush forward to the front of your mat, going in for rolling like a ball, heels pull in tight, hands to your ankles, or backs of the thighs to modify. Now lift your feet, balance in this position. Hug the ball, pull your belly back. See if you can bring the forehead to the ball. Now take this shape, roll back and up. And back and up. Staying in the tiniest shape 
the tiniest ball that you can. Plus two. One more. Up and hold it. Take the ball out. Lift into a tabletop teaser with the knees right in line with your ankles. The ball reaches in front of your chest. If you want a challenge, you can reach the legs out long towards the diagonal for a full teaser. Heels together, toes apart. Lift your heart. Hold it for three, two, one. Lower down all the way with control. And then bend the knees toward your chest. Take the feet down to the mat. Lift your hips. Put the ball underneath your lower back. We're going to be balancing on top of the ball. Hands by your sides. The closer the hands are, the harder this is, the wider, the more support you'll have in your balance. Do it over there. <laughs> okay, now bring one knee towards the chest, the other knee towards the chest. Now heels together, toes apart. Draw the abs in. Your pelvis is elevated here. And now there's space between the back, the mat, and the ball. Picture that space and keep it the same throughout this whole series. So we're gonna reach the legs out long towards the diagonal, the middle stays the same, and then pull back in. Inhale, reach, exhale in. Inhale, reach, exhale in. Last three, and in. Frogging the legs in and out, two. Press out, hold, bring the feet together. So we're in a parallel position now, no turnout. Legs go up, open, and they circle down. Open, around, and uplift. Making a circle with each leg. Trying to keep the middle as still as possible. Trying to keep the ball as still as possible. Very hard. The circle, ooh, carefully, don't make me fall off this ball. The circle can be bigger if you're more advanced, or it can be small. Excuse me. <laughs> Last three. Don't pull my hair. Two. One more. Go the opposite way, so it's down, open, around to 90. Inhale. Instruct me. Can you tell me what to do? Oh, so mean, Penny. Hold the legs at 90. They always find you when you're in an improper weird position, right? Split the legs long and away from each other. Switch and switch and switch. Three, two, one. Now take the left knee or the leg that's closer to you in towards your chest and reach the opposite leg long to a diagonal. Switch the legs past each other. Switch, switch, switch. Oh, now you want the ball. <laughs> Three, two, one. Bring both knees in towards your chest. Inhale, reach both legs long. Exhale, pull both knees in. Inhale out, exhale in for two, one more, hold out on that diagonal, heels together, toes apart, lift the legs towards 90 degrees, lower back down, lifting up, lowering down, just three more, lift and lower, and two, lower, one more, Lower down to a diagonal where you feel challenged, but the space between the back and the mat is the same. The core pulls in. Open the legs to the width of your mat and close. And open and close. Out and in. Stay at this pace. <laughs> or for a challenge, we go faster for beats for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I shouldn't laugh. It's not funny. Bring your knees in, bring the feet down. Lift the hips away from the ball, take it out, roll down one bone at a time. Rock up into a seated position. Thanks. <laughs> Excuse me.
Excuse my non-camera ready hair now. Okay, so legs are out long in front of you, and they're open just to about the distance of the hips. We're going to finish with saw here. Take the ball in front of the heart, lift it up long over the head. Now take the body and rotate towards the left side. Legs stay stationary. Hinge from the middle of the body and pull the abs back into a C curve as you reach the ball towards your left pinky toe. Make sure your right cheek is still down on the mat. Articulate back up to tall, twist the opposite way, and dive forward. Inhale, rolling up, rotate, exhale, dive. Inhale, lift, exhale, dive. Inhale, exhale, now push the ball as you reach forward. Feel that contraction in your core. Inhale, lift, twist, and dive. One more each way. <laughs> One more. Come back to the center. Lower that ball all the way down with control. And that's it, mommy. Thank you.